hi in this video we will see flavonoids at the end of this video you will be learning basic skeleton of flavonoids its metabolism of flavonoids functional groups responsible for antioxidant activity and subclasses of flavonoids structural differences of various class of flavonoids their absorption and biological activities such as antioxidant mechanism of action and anti-inflammatory mechanism of action of flavonoids so flavonoids or bioflavonoids they are also called as vitamin p in 1930 a new substance was isolated from oranges at the time it was believed to be a number of a new class member of a new class of vitamins and was set desi designated as vitamin p later on it became clear that this substance was a flavonoid that is routine and till now more than 4000 flav varieties of flavonoids have been identified so the word flavonoids it is from derived from the latin word flowers it means yellow because of their yellow color in the nature so what are flavonoids or bioflavonoids or vitamin p flavonoids consist of large group of polyphenolic secondary metabolites they are ubiquitously present in plants particularly in fruits and vegetables they are also in plant products like wine tea and chocolate they are synthesized in plants by phenyl propanoid pathway general structure of flavonoids consists of 15 carbon skeleton which is called as flavon backbone so it includes two phenyl rings that is a and b as shown in figure and a heterocyclic ring that is c ring c which contains the embedded oxygen as shown in the figure right so this is the molecular structure of the flavone backbone as for the uh, chemical formula it is named as 2 phenyl 1 4 benzopyrone because at the two second position of this ring phenyl ring is present and at the one and four present position the ketone fourth position ketone is present that's why pyrone o n e is written at the end so it says that it is ketone so subtypes of flavonoids there are six different types of flavonoids found in food and each kind is broken down by your body in a different way so these six types are flavonols flavon three alls flavones flavonones isoflavones and anthocyanins now we'll see the characteristics of each so flavonols are known for their antioxidant properties and they may help managing the symptoms of cardiovascular diseases flavon three alls are rich in nutrients flavones are pigments in blue and white flower in plants they also work as a natural pesticide in plants flavonones are anti-inflammatory agents that help you manage your weight and cholesterol isoflavones help in keeping the hormones balanced in your body anthocyanins are naturally produced pigments that give flowers their red purple and blue color they are mainly found in the outer skin of berries and berry products so examples of each class now we'll see in this slide for example fa these are three classes which are mainly important which are flavonols which are antioxidant found in or examples of these flavonols are quercetin camphorol myricetin and fisetin second is flavones which are these are pigments flavones for example flav flavone epigenin luteolin third is flavonones they are known for their anti-inflammatory properties and examples include flavonones hesperidin and naringenin classes of flavonoids the various class of flavonoids differ in the level of oxidation and pattern of substitution of the ring C. 
so if the differences of flavo there are various class of flavonoids they are categorized into flavanols flavan three alls flavanones flavanones isoflavones and anthocyanins because of their difference in di- differences in the structure in the ring c and if, if the differences are in the or substitution are there in the ring a and b then their subclasses are divided so individual compounds within a class differ in the pattern of substitution of the ring a and b for example <coughs> in flavonoids there are different examples we have seen like quercetin camphorol myricetin and fisetin they differ in the substitution at ring a and b so flavonoids occurs as a glycons glycosides and methylated derivatives so glycosides containing the sugar moiety of flavonoid and it is responsible for their bioavailability a glycons the basic flavonoid structure is mainly of a glycon which we have seen in the c6 c3 c6 structure among this all subclasses of flavonoids isoflavones exhibit the highest bioavailability the bioavailability metabolism and biological activity of flavonoids so bioavailability metabolism and biological activity of flavonoids depend on the configuration total number of hydroxyl group and substitution of functional groups about their nuclear structure <coughs> metabolism of flavonoids in humans so oligomeric flavonoids may be hydrolyzed to monomers and dimers under influence of acidic conditions in the stomach larger molecules reach the colon where they are degraded by bacteria the flavonoid can be absorbed from the small intestine <coughs> or has to go to the colon before absorption the hydrophilic flavonoid glycosides such as quercetin are transported across the small intestine by the intestinal sodium dependent glucose trans- co-transporter it may depend upon the structure of flavonoid that is whether it is a glycoside or a glycon after absorption the flavonoids are co- conjugated in the liver by glucuronidation sulfation or methylation or metabolized to smaller phenolic compounds the flavonoids secreted with bile in intestine and those that cannot be absorbed from the small intestine are degraded in the colon by intestinal microflora which also breaks down the flavonoid ring structure so biological activities of flavonoids includes antioxidant activity hepatoprotective activity antibacterial activity anti inflammatory activity anti cancer activity and antiviral activity so in among the six we are mainly discuss, going to discuss antioxidant and anti inflammatory activities so anti in, antioxidant activity of flavonoids because flavonoids are rich in antioxidant activity so they can help your body to ward off every day toxins functional hydroxyl groups in flavonoids mediate their antioxidant effect by scavenging free radicals and by or by chelating metal ions the chelation of metals uh, could be crucial in the prevention of radical generation which damage target biomolecules the b ring hydroxyl configuration is the most significant determinant of scavenging of ross and reactive nitrogen species because it donates hydrogen and an electron to hydroxyl peroxyl and peroxynitrite radicals thus stabilizing them and giving rise to a relatively stable flavonoid radical mechanism of ex- antioxidant action so the ex- exhibit antioxidant action by three ways that is by suppression of ross formation either by inhibition of enzymes or by chelating trace elements involved in free radical generation so flavonoids mainly inhibit the enzymes involved in r- ross generation that is microsomal monooxygenase enzyme glutathione s transferase mitochondrial succin oxidase and nadh oxidase 
and lipid peroxidation is a common consequence of oxidative stress second mechanism by which they exhibit antioxidant action is by scavenging and scavenging ros that is reactive oxygen species and third mechanism is by upregulation or protection of antioxidant defenses now we'll see the anti inflammatory activity of flavonoids a number of flavonoids such as hesperidin epigenin luteolin and quercetin are reported to possess an anti inflammatory and analgesic effects certain members of flavonoids significantly affect the function of the immune system and inflammatory cells flavonoids may affect specifically the function of enzyme systems critically involved in the generation of inflammatory processes especially tyrosine and serine threonine protein kinases thank you